You can also import from one access database to another. So why would you want to do that? Well, maybe you're working on a test database and you want to import the, uh, the tables from your production database so you don't have to uh, experiment with your production data. Uh, it's always a good idea to have a test database. And then also maybe you have a table and you, you just want to uh, reuse it so you don't have to type the whole thing in again. So in this case, I'm going to pick on external data and I'll pick on access. We're going to go from one access database to another. So you can either import which is going to make uh, a new copy of those tables and objects into this database, independent of the other database, or you can either link your tables together. When you link them, that means if you make changes to the tables here, the other database will change at the same time. You would do that for a multi-user system or when your tables are on a server. In this case, I'm going to pick on Browse, and of course, you're going to go back to that same folder that came with the book of the sample files. And I'll pick on this database that's called order status. I'm going to pick on open. And I'll pick on OK. Now, when you import from an access database, you can actually import all the other objects as well, not just the tables. You can click on any of these tabs. And if there's objects there, you can click on as many objects in each tab as you wanted to. In this case, I'll pick on the Tables tab, and I'll do Select All. Although you could pick them individually if you wanted to. And I'll pick on OK. And now, just like that, those tables are imported into your Access database. Again, if you did the Save Import steps, that means if you're going to import that same Access database in the future, you can reduce it down to one or two steps when you save the import steps. But in this case, I'm going to pick on Close. And notice how the Order Status table is in there. And also the order tax status table is in there as well, because I imported those from a different access database. Once again, I just picked on external data and picked on access. And then you point to your access database and just follow the screens.